Hi, I'm Connor Habib, and I got into porn about uh, two years ago, but I just started really working it um, a few months ago, um, over the summer of 2009. And uh, I got into porn because I think I've been wanting to do it since I was 12 years old. I mean, basically since I thought people do this for a living, I thought that was pretty amazing that you go and you do something with your body. I was never an athletic person um, when I was a kid, and I like the idea that I'm doing something athletic. I used to be a teacher. I made all my money with my brains, and it's good to use this for my living right now. Um, and it's a bit of a, a bit of rest for me, which is nice. Right now, I'm also in school again, studying philosophy, and. Uh, trying to figure out how those things all mesh together and what it means um, and trying to also show people that almost everybody I know who's in porn is uh, a smart person who's gotten in intentionally. They didn't just fall into it. It wasn't an accident. It wasn't because they were desperate or fucked up, but um, because they really wanted to be involved in this world in one way or another. It was really fascinating. And so I try to be as public about what I do as possible in my school life, my academic life, and, and here as well. Because so I think it's really important uh, for people to start seeing this as like a legitimate way to live and make money and to uh, you know express yourself. Not artistically, exactly, but you know what I mean. So, you know, I don't think porn has to be artistic in the way that other, you know, art forms are. And I know people sort of make fun of you when you <laughs> talk about porn being an art, but it definitely is some sort of form of expression. And, uh, you know, when you're making porn, it's a really weird thing because you have to be totally oblivious, right? You have to be to totally obliterate yourself so you can get into the sex, and you have to watch every move you're making at the same time. So just when you're performing, something interesting is happening internally, even if that doesn't come across like when people watch it, when you do it, it's something, it's a really strange state of consciousness. And that's what it feels like when you're making art. You're completely um, out of your head and in it at the same time. Um, and it's a really weird state. So in that sense, it's really artistic for me. I don't know, um, I don't think all porn comes across artistically, but we do get some sort of expression out of it. I mean, we express our sexuality through it. and. I mean, that's so free-flowing and so free-form that I think that that's a pretty, uh, pretty intense thing for people. I think if there's, I think porn stars now, um, because of the way the industry is changing, I think we all really sell our personalities in a way that uh, we didn't used to have to before. Uh, people just showed up and they put their bodies in front of the cameras and that was going on. You just got to come all over your face. But now, um, people are really putting their personalities out there. Um, I mean, I can think of a lot of people, Steve Cruz and Ray Scooper and, uh, gosh, who else? I mean, any of the people at blogs, Eric Rhodes, like, we all put ourselves out there. And for me, I think my contribution is just to show someone who's an integrated person, someone who, you know, is educated in science and philosophy and the humanities, and also somebody who has spirituality and who also loves, you know, fucking and dirty, you know, dirty fucking, you know, and being sort of, and saying that that's not separate from our lives. Um, that aspect isn't separate. It's all in me somewhere. So if I have any contribution, I suppose that's it. And I hope it does something good. <laughs> um... I try not to be as addicted to Facebook as I am and Twitter, but I just can't seem to stop myself. But you know, it's kind of cool. Like, I, I'm really interested in the fact that everybody's like tweeting and Facebooking every moment of their lives. It's like, I can actually find that to be a really positive thing in a sense that people are actually paying attention to what they're doing from moment to moment. And we didn't used to do that. Um, we were much more oblivious, but now it's like, hey, look what I'm doing right now. And to notice yourself in your own life is, I think, a good thing. So um, that's my way of rationalizing my Facebook addiction. <laughs> so the most recent projects have been, uh, I did a movie for Mustang, just 
yesterday actually um, called Laid Off and that scene was with Colby Keller and Gerth Brooks and that was one of the best sexual experiences of my life. It was amazing. And you'll see what the director, John Bruno, meant when he said, in my long career, that is the most calm I've ever seen in my entire career. Uh, so you'll see when that comes out. And I also did a movie for Raging Stallion, Arabesque 2, which is a sequel to, I think, the best-selling, the best-selling porn DVD, uh, gay porn DVD ever, um, which is Arabesque. And uh, I'm really excited for that to come out. Um, and let's see, my website is going to be, it, it's at its provisional stage now, but hopefully by the time you see this, it'll be up and running. And that is not just a regular porn blog, but it also has porn exercises. You'll see what I mean when that gets up. And uh, it also has essays about other things uh, besides just uh, pornography. So I hope it brings something uh, interesting to you. And of course, it'll have uh, pictures of me getting fucked in the ass, you know, just... With That's ConnorHabib.com? ConnorHabib.com, and it's C-O-N-N-E-R-H-A-B-I-B.com. Okay. All right, I'm Connor Habib. Thanks for watching Lavender Lounge Video Blog, and uh, I got to go suck somebody's dick now, so I'll see you later.